Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is design underground system. Implement the underground system class. There's a function check in where a customer with card ID equal to ID gets in the station at time t. A customer can only be checked into one place at a time. Check out, a customer with card ID ID gets out from the station station name at time t. So once we have that, we have the start and the end as well as the time that it took to get between those two places. Now, we also need a function to get the average time it took for getting to the start station to the end station. Uh, this is regardless of what customer it is, it's just the average time to these two stations itself. And it's always going to be valid. Okay, so I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you look at the hint, they tell you, use two hash tables, one to save the check-in time and one to update the total time between two stations. So that's really all it is right, right there. Uh, what we'll do is have two hashes and we'll store the customer ID inside of the check-in as well as the start and the start time and the start station. When we check out, what we'll do is calculate the amount of time it took to get to this end station and put that into the hash as well. So if I'm explaining this correctly, we'll have two hashes, uh, one for the in, and this is all being get a default dict with uh, a tuple is going to be the default type and when we come out it's going to be a list of all the times it took so here within the key is going to be the customer ID and the tuple is going to be the time started and the start station now using that we can now calculate using the start station and the end station as our key and just calculate the time, I guess, end minus time start, which is going to be how much time it took. And we will append this to a list, and when we calculate the average time, we just need to uh, sum it up and divide it by its length, right? So let's go with that. What we'll do is when we check in first, uh, I suppose we should check to see if ID... Uh, actually, I don't even think we need to do that. We can assume that everything's valid. So what we'll do is just say self.i. Um, ID is going to be equal to a tuple of what did I say time start and start station so that's going to be the station name here okay, and this will get updated every time the customer ID checks in some other place right but we can also assume they're always going to check out before they check in so here when we check out what we'll do is say mm, let's see uh, assuming that everything's valid we'll get the ID here uh, this will be a tuple of the start time and the start station, right? And what we'll do is calculate the total time it took. That's going to be t, t equals t. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I'll call it total and t minus start time. That's what it's going to be. And we're going to put into our output dictionary a tuple of the start station. We have that right here, as well as the end station which was given to us right here. Now all we need to do is append total time it took. Finally, um, when we want to return the average, all we need to do is return, let's see, the sum of everything in self O for these two stations. Let me see if I this right. We get the sum and then we divide that by the length. And this should be it. Let's make sure this works. Okay, it looks like it's working, so let's go and submit it. And there we go, accepted. So pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of how you structure these dictionaries. I used a tuple. You could also probably use a tuple here by calculating the total sum that it took and just storing the total sum of time it took and as well as the total number of, of, of travels we had and that could be more efficient if like we had a lot of data here um, but you know for this question I, I don't think it's necessary it, it didn't require that so uh, yeah I think we'll just end it here okay thanks for watching my channel remember do not trust me I know nothing